Today I'm going to share a story of how adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, affect children at school. ACEs are potentially traumatic events that happen to children in their childhood. This year, I had a student who came to school with an ACE score of 9 out of 10. She came to school with her basic needs not being met at home. She came to school late, hungry, she was tired, she was carrying family burdens and stresses, and she did not feel loved. She came to our school the year before I had her as a transitional kindergarten student. And in that year, she spent most of the year outside of the classroom. She was displaying extreme behavior and emotional behaviors. In that year, she did not gain emotionally, socially, or academically. And the year ended with her having a modified schedule because she just couldn't handle being at school. When she came to me in the fall, I knew I needed to give her a fresh start and I needed to build a relationship with her. Although she tested me on many occasions by standing on tables um, and she threw objects and verbally abused me daily, I stayed consistent to my approach and made sure that she knew I believed in her and I loved her. My classroom became her safe haven and she wanted to be at school. Because of that, she made huge academic and social connections. I had met a level of her ACE deficit, which was um, um, emotional neglect and household <coughs> dysfunction. So I had met a level of her emotional needs. Next, I needed to, to physically help her. She, whenever she was hungry, I allowed her to eat. I gave her several choices for her to pick her own snack in my classroom. And every Friday, I sent home a food bag with her family. Our school nurse combed her hair our social worker gave her brand new sneakers and winter gear that fit her. We gave her clothes that she felt comfortable in and she was thriving and so excited to be at school. So again, I had met some of her physical needs on her ACE score. Next, and probably the hardest deficit, was what she was carrying with toxic stress that was increasing her ACE score daily. Although I believed that I was going to be able to change this, I taught her how to self-regulate, I taught her breathing exercises. As a whole, we learned about how our brain functions. Her deficit was too large for me to help without professional help. One afternoon, she asked me continuously for help. She knew, Mrs. Perot, my brain needs help. I need you to help get my brain in control. I did everything I could that day to help her. I took my prep time to talk to the principal and, and do everything I could. I did not have the resources in my building to help this child. She was in my classroom and, and she left angry. She, in return, physically and um, mentally assaulted a staff member. Our principal had to call her parents and she left for the day. After everything I had done for this student, I didn't get to say goodbye to her. And I haven't seen her again. Our school was told that she um, is being homeschooled and she moved. 
Now, I'm telling you this story because public education can and needs to do better for our students. Studies show that students who come to school with an A score of just three or higher are five times more likely to have attendance issues, six times more likely to have behavior problems, and three times more likely to have academic failure. Studies also show that one in six students come to school with an ACE score of four or higher. The shortfall fallings of public education is falling on the shoulders of teachers. We are not trained and have the resources to help these students with mental health concerns. I am very aware that we will not end ACEs, but I do feel that public educators and schools can change the narrative of how we respond to these students and what we do for them. In return, I find this to be a huge problem, but this will help with teacher burnout, it will help with academic failure, it will help with attendance issues, it will help with school safety, and there are so many other problems in our, in our schools that if we can tackle the ACE scores of our children, we will help eliminate these other problems. So as a kindergarten teacher, and with my experience with this student, I have a few answers to share with you that I think needs to change in public education. It comes down to more school funding. One, we need to support teachers with the many burdens students bring to school. We are becoming more than just their teacher. In order to do these things, we need to support and train teachers. This is what's causing teacher burnout. Number two, we need mental health screenings and professionals to help students with mental illness. Educators are not trained to handle these problems alone. This is causing tremendous behavior issues and school safety concerns. We need less academic pressure, more social emotional learning, and to teach self-regulation. This is causing student dropout rates and again, increasing behavior. We need to offer and provide more family support for suffering families. This is causing high ACE scores and attendance issues. We need professionals who are highly trained in behavioral health to assist and collaborate with teachers in addressing student needs.